Today is the first Sunday of Advent. And if we paid attention to the readings we heard, we will understand that the church wants us to reflect on another kind of Advent. What is Advent? From the Latin word, ad venire, ad venire, it means to come to, to come to. And the question would be, who is coming to who? And what should we do in preparation for the person who is coming? So there are two kinds of advents. The root word is adventus, which means coming or arrival. There are two kinds of advents. The first has been completed, and we celebrate that completion of the first advent at Christmas. Then the second advent is the parousia, which the readings that we heard are telling us to be prepared for that second advent. At the beginning of the new liturgical year, we will be wondering, why did the church present these readings to us? Advent becomes a period of preparation a period of preparation, preparing ourselves. And there are two kinds of preparations. One is physical preparation and one is spiritual preparation. The physical preparation is, is always there. We can see that already. We have begun to decorate the trees, our homes. Some of us are planning to buy a new car buy a new house, buy new pairs of shoes, clothes. All these are very good, but these are physical preparation for the advent. The spiritual preparation is what the church is calling our attention to. Christ tells his disciples, when the Son of Man comes again in his glory and power. When the Son of Man comes again in his glory and power with the angels, so Christ coming, Christ advent, his second advent, his second coming, not as he came at the first, but he's now coming as a judge. So the church wants us to prepare about the second coming. And how should we prepare about the second coming? Christ made it very clear to us. It is the preparation of our hearts. We have to prepare our hearts. And of course, you know that nobody sees one's heart. Nobody here can read our hearts. Only God can read our hearts. So Christ tells us to prepare our hearts. And he made it very clear how we can do that. Avoid indulging on worldly pleasures. Carousness. Avoid indulging in worldly pleasures. Avoid drunkenness, and avoid unnecessary anxieties. Unnecessary anxieties. Avoid it. The Greek word used for that anxiety is merimna. And what merimna means is the cares of the worldly things the cares of the worldly things, being so 
much attached to the worldly things. So Christ tells us to avoid such things in this season of Advent. And then he tells us, stay awake and pray. Stay awake and pray. St. Paul, in the second reading, made it very clear on how we can stay awake. St. Paul tells us, increase and abound in love. In this season of Advent, we have to increase our love for one another. We have to increase our love for ourselves and increase our love for one another. That is one of the ways we can stay awake. He also tells us that we have to be blameless in holiness. Be blameless in holiness. As we prepare for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have to do two things. One, increase in love and increase in holiness. Love and holiness. These are the ways we have to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Especially his second coming. That nobody knows when he's going to come. We are preparing for Christmas. We are filled with joy. We have to prepare in two ways. The physical preparation, very important. We have to be happy. We have to be joyous. Because we celebrate with joy what happened 2,000 years ago. But then we have to also prepare for the second coming, the advent, the second advent of Christ. And we have to prepare our hearts. In this first week of Advent, we just lit this first candle, which symbolizes hope. To end this homily, I would like us to do something in this first week of Advent that has to do with hope. When we go back, sit down, make a 10 minutes reflection on how we can bring hope to those who are hopeless. Sit down, 10 minutes reflection on how you can be a source of hope to our world that is filled with hopelessness. It could be visiting a friend. It could be just keeping someone company. It could be making a single phone call. It can change someone's life. It can give someone hope. It can tell someone that somebody really cares about you. That is what we have to do in this first week of Advent. Be a source of hope. Be a source of hope to one another. We ask the good Lord who has given us the grace to begin this new liturgical year to help us to increase and grow in love, to help us to increase and grow in holiness. May the good Lord bless you and bless these words in your hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you.